Well, these are the Caesar Atlantic City numbers. <laughs> you can't really talk about these numbers. It's been a tough start for Hefner, especially with the home run ball. And strike three call. Punto caught looking for the first out of the afternoon. On the next pitch, David Wright tied the game, so it kind of got lost in the shuffle. And Ethier lifts one out to left center. Plenty of room for Duda. And that retires the side because in both cases he was playing next to Jose Reyes. Hefner handles the comebacker. And Tejada with the turn, but the high throw at Davis with a terrific tag. But the first fielder's mitt that his dad ever got for him as he strikes out. And Punto drives one deep to right. Bird goes back to the edge of the track and he's got it. And that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers in the third. Mets come to bat down one nothing. Kemp has the only hit against Hefner, an RBI single in the first, and this time a good slider by Hefner strikes him out. And on some certain days, um, you have a better field than others. The cold weather probably had something to do with it also. Cowgill snags the fly ball from Ethier. That's eight in a row retired by Hefner. The Giants though have lost back to back extra inning games to the Diamondbacks. Double play ball. Murphy with the flip and Tejada with the jump and toss for the 4 6 3 double play. And the Mets turn their second of the day. Into shallow center field and Colin Calgill looking through the sunglasses. Side retired. We are halfway through at City Field. Mets down 1 0 to LA. Korea, including the gold medal game against Cuba, as he goes down swinging for the second time. Now Hefner's 3 1, and Gonzalez hits one in the air to left center field, pretty deep. Cowgill and Duda on the track, and Duda puts it away. It's a theme question today at the draft tonight. Colorado Rockies drafted by. Little tapper back to Hefner, and the side retired. Seven very strong innings from Jeremy Hefner this afternoon.